Today we're talking about namespaces. And namespaces are basically containers for classes. Uh, and you've probably seen namespaces a lot and not realized it. If uh, we look at the test program I'm using in order to run this, I just have a single button which says communicate with a namespace. And my namespace is actually defined in a module called myclass.cs. And I have another property of namespaces that I'm demonstrating here, which is that namespaces can be nested. Uh, for instance, you see the namespace, my namespace, and then inside this namespace, there's another namespace called my sub namespace. And in order to instantiate this in the main code, I say mc equals new class my class. Where class is a class within this namespace. And in order to get to that my class class, you have to uh, have a reference of a using, which is my namespace plus the nested namespace, my sub namespace. So as I said, it's something you've seen repeatedly, but haven't really been aware of what you're looking at probably. For instance, all of these are exactly the same thing. This using system, system is a namespace, as you can see if you hover the mouse over it, and using system.windows System.windows, Windows is a nested namespace within system. And then using system.windows.forms, when system.windows.forms is a nested namespace within system.windows. So, and let's see, what else did I want to talk about? As Methods and data in classes inside namespaces can either be static or dynamic. And once again, this is something you've used a lot, probably without being aware of what you're using. For instance, if you ever referenced the color blue, you know, you'll see color dot blue. Well, color is a, a numeration within uh, a class and a, within a namespace. And it's a static type enumeration, so you don't need to uh, instantiate the class before you reference it. And in the case of this code, if we go to uh, the My Class module, you see a public static void, hi Doug. And what this means is you don't have to instantiate the class, my namespace, uh, my sub namespace, my class in order to reference this. You need to have it defined with usings in order to get to it. But to reference it, you just have to reference it directly with the class name. So it'd be my class dot hi Doug. And within the code, you see where this happens. It's within the, the button uh, event handler. All it does is directly reference my class dot hi Doug without instantiating a class. And as you can see up here, I am referencing the namespace using my namespace dot my sub namespace so that when I say my class, it's able to find it within those two nested namespaces. But because the class contains a static uh, method doesn't mean it can't also be instantiated. But when you instantiate it, you won't be able to reference the static method with the instantiated version. So if we look at the, uh, the code where I'm referencing my class, you see at the form load event, I say mc equals new my class, but I don't actually reference any methods within that class. And the reason I do that is because I want to show when this constructor gets called. 
which is basically before anything happens when you do it in the form load. So why don't we save this code and take a look at what it does. As you can see before the form even comes up it says in constructor because I'm instantiating that class in the form load event. So I press OK and now we have the form with the button. And if I press the button we get the message box, Hi Doug, the title message from another namespace in class. And as you could see in the code, and as I mentioned previously, in the uh, button handler event, I'm not instantiating the class at all. I'm just referencing the static class and, and method directly just like color.blue gets referenced and, and other things like that or message box for that matter message box is system.windows.forms.message box and you just reference that directly uh, without instantiating this this class so um, there's a lot of static uh, classes and static methods involved in, in C sharp and you've seen them before, but you have, probably haven't recognized what you're seeing, and hopefully you will from now on. Well, I hope you enjoyed this class and uh, learned a lot from it. And don't forget to uh, subscribe.